Hypersonic weapon systems have been in the limelight after Russia used them against Ukraine. And now this weapon system is being considered a game changer in modern warfare. China, Russia and the US are among the few nations that possess hypersonic missiles. But there is one more nation which is working in the shadow on an indigenously developed hypersonic weapon system. India. Is India already armed and ready with these missiles? I'm Shivan Janna. Welcome to Game Plan. Let's get to the point. A hypersonic missile travels at least five times the speed of sound. It is highly maneuverable and is the next step in the evolution of armed projectiles. The missile travels so fast in the atmosphere that it forms a layer of plasma cloud in front of its warhead that functions to block radio waves, protecting it from detection. These missiles can even cover continents, making them deadlier. Apart from Russia, US and China, other nations like France, Germany, Japan and Australia are also in the process of developing their own hypersonic missiles. But India is working relentlessly and conducting hypersonic missile tests on a regular basis. And the West is taking a keen note of this. In India, the BrahMos-2 will be the hypersonic version of the missile. The trials have put its speed at almost Mach 8. That means it's eight times the speed of sound. India has been testing its indigenous hypersonic air-breathing scramjet called the HST-DV or Hypersonic Technology Demonstration Vehicle. India has been conducting regular trials. In June 2019 and September of 2020, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation tested the HST-DV off the coast of Odisha. Then again, in December of 2022, Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, successfully conducted a joint hypersonic vehicle trial. Then again, in January of 2023, India tested its HST-DV powered by a scramjet engine from its east coast. Recently, India conducted a night trial of its nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile, the Agni-5. Now, it may be too early to confirm, but there are reasons to believe that this was indeed a hypersonic glide vehicle. Reason number one, the low velocity of the missile indicated its quasi-ballistic role, which is usually depicted by a hypersonic glide vehicle. Reason number two, the trajectory was noted to be unusually lower within the Earth's atmosphere. Both reasons hinted that this was perhaps a hypersonic test. Now, US has been watching India's missile advancements. And as per a report by the US Congress, India has the most number of testing facilities for hypersonic missiles compared to Australia, France, Germany and Japan. Of course, these facilities in India are heavily guarded by elite Indian forces and their whereabouts are shrouded in secrecy. Now, while officials from Brahmos have said it will take India a few more years to get there, these reports suggest India is quietly racing to develop hypersonic missile capability without making a lot of noise about it. So is India armed and ready with hypersonic missiles? What do you think? Keep watching Game Plan for more details.